Hello, YouTube. It's your girl Keisha Laundry, and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. Good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is up and I'm getting it and, you know, getting it. <laughs> and I also hope everyone is having a good week. I am um, in my son's car, so excuse the angle. I don't have the, um, you know, my usual thing to prop everything up. So my phone is sitting on, um, sitting on my pocketbook. So, um, I just wanted to discuss the new It Girls out here, um, that's like shaking their tail feather and, um, doing the absolute most as, as, as everyone says now, just doing the most, you know, um, I'm scared because things have changed when it came to music. Things have truly changed. It's, it's no hidden secrets anymore. Everything is just like, bleh. You know, back in our day, it was like in between the sheets and um, do me, baby. And you didn't even realize what these people were saying until you got older and you sing the song. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I was singing that, you know. Um, especially, hey, girl, what you miss the I'm coming, coming on strong. I remember... Being like, oh my gosh, you know, but um, things have truly changed and it's sort of scary, but I'm here to let you guys know that I truly believe that they're targeting the children, like the people that's faith's age, eight and maybe 15, 17, they're targeting that group and they're trying to turn them into hoes. And it's scary. It's scary. It started with Nicki Minaj, but at least her music wasn't like so vulgar. But her ass was still just always in our face. You know, um, of course, everybody feel like they got to have the plastic surgery and, um, you know, and just 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 degrade themselves. It's the, these people have no talent that I want to put it out there. Cardi B has no talent at all. None. She's like a Muppet. Say say this. Say this. Only thing she can do is um, slut stuff. I'm sorry to say. These people have no talent. The Sukiyanas, no talent. I don't know if Megan writes her own stuff, but if she would just put on some clothes, I would appreciate it. I used to say, I want Beyonce to go back to put, to wearing clothes. All of a sudden, Beyonce wear a onesie every time she on, on stage. Now everybody wear a onesie on stage. I, I love when Beyonce was wearing clothes. She don't even, she don't wear clothes no more when she perform. You know, and I really, truly, it, it dawned on me that they are targeting, chi targeting children with the whole Fashion Nova, having them kids posed all up with, you know, with um, sort of grown style clothes, you know. My daughter would show me things on Instagram with these kids with their hair in a bun and they posing their kids all kind of way. For who? For who? What are, who are you doing this for? What are you doing this for? I really truly feel like um, that they're about to start making predatory behavior okay. I really do. The, the children are the ones who's going to suffer. The children are the ones who's going to suffer from the entertainment industry putting whores in, in our kids' face. Let's just, let's just call it what it is. The entertainment industry is putting whores in our kids' faces and making them feel like that's, that's the new talent. So being a whore is, is the new talent. And it's not. I remember when Cardi B came on the scene and I was just like, why? Why? I mean, we was making such great strides as black women, as women, period. Ava DuVernay was starting to be at the forefront. You know, um, people with, with intelligence and real skills. These people have no skills at all. They in, in the industry, they benefiting off of it. Because they go and they pluck some idiot that don't have no skill. All they want is the bad. Only thing these people want is money. And that's where the problem is. There's no talent. And they're just here for the money. If they had talent, they would have morals. They would have values. You know, they would have something to protect. But these people don't have nothing to protect. That's all they want is money. So that's easy. That's an easy thing for these people to go out and be like, hey, let me go get Sukiyana from Wilmington, Delaware. I don't know if anybody ever been to Wilmington, Delaware. But that is a dirty, dirty, um, pro uh, poverty. It's poverty down there. That's the first time... Um, years ago, they was the first people that I seen had cameras all over the place. The crime was so bad down there that they had cameras like on every corner. People still hang out on the corners down there, um, you know, on 
on uh on the street corners in front of the stores and stuff like that that's how wilmington delaware is so they went and they plucked this girl from out of the trash and put her on tv what do you think she was going to do she going to promote trash and it's scary that my children that that my faith have her hands on things like this like this is the new talent this is the new talent let's erase all their good music let's erase all their good music and put wop out there i asked faith we when i drop her off at school i'm like faith what you want to hear i have my phone plugged up you know i'm like what you want to hear she tells me she want to hear wop i said i'm not pulling up to your school playing wop i put on trolls I put on the troll soundtrack. That's what you should be listening to. That's what your children should be listening to. Don't let them listen to all of that mess that they um put out here. It started with Jamia's generation. I remember Jamia would um will play music. Actually, I have a story. I believe she was turning 13 and some little girl, her friend, had burned her a CD for her birthday. The first song that was on that daggone CD was like... This my pussy, I do what I want. Y'all heard that. And I was like, oh, hell no. I broke that CD right in half. Oh, heck no. And then they start off with the drop your butt to the floor and get on the thing. You know, it, it's sad. It's sad. I don't listen to any of, the, any of that music. I don't. I listen to, listen to the radio and things like that, but... I just feel like they're trying to turn our children, they're targeting our kids. Next thing you know, our kids going to be walking around all stank butt, you know, and they they going to feel like it's not going to be no more no more solid, valuable relationships out here. It it's not. It's sad when I seen the videos of Cardi B's um birthday party and in all the pictures everybody like, what, what's that? Everybody in every photo. Huh? 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 Okay. We get it. Y'all out here selling something. Because the people with real talent, they survived during COVID. The people who have real talent, they were still able to work. But you notice the people without talent, they went to OnlyFans and they started taking off their clothes because they didn't. Ha they don't have nothing to offer. These people was just a face and a body. A face and a body. That's it. No talent at all. Let's put these people out here. I, oh, my God. Black China is doing the absolute most. How do she face her children? How do, how are, how do you face your children when you're that kind of person? How do, do your children respect you? Because, I mean, once children get a certain age and they realize what mommy is doing, you have some explaining to do. You have some real explaining to do. And then even going to be no need and no explanation because it is what it is. It's right in front of you. It is what it is. It's just sad that they're targeting children. They're targeting children. They're trying to make it okay. They're trying to make children think that it's okay to be sexual like that. They're sexualizing children. That's what they're doing. And it's wrong. It's wrong. And it hurts me to know that faith that I, first of all, I'm I gotta be responsible for teaching her in cursive, but that's besides the point. But they're erasing everything good. They're erasing everything good. They just took our music and just just gave it the horse, gave it to the hoes. They took our good music, our our the soul of the black people is music. I told Jamia I couldn't get that um Chloe and Haley song out of my head. Love me at the ungodly hour. Love me, love me, love... And I already felt like the other song that they had, I, I feel like that they were putting a spell on us. Because it's like you hear the song and you can't get it out your mind. You go to sleep, the song is in your head. You wake up, the song is in your head. Um, The one that, do it, do it. That's the song we do it, do it, do it. And I told Jamia, I said, you never heard that the devil controls the airwaves and the TVs? I'm sorry that I, um, I guess I never shared it with her. And I said, those are spells that they putting on you. You wonder why you can't get that song out your head? You wonder why when you sing the song that you actually do the dance that they do? You're under the spell. You're under the spell. They are definitely putting the children under a spell. And we can't fall for it. We got to cut it. We, we got to cut it. I know it's hard, you know, it's hard to not go with the majority 
But we got to save them. We got to save them. It's some white music executives sitting around saying, yeah, this is what we're going to teach your children. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's it's scary. It's scary to know that when my granddaughter go to dance, that the first thing she do is go to shake her ass. Well, I, I miss as much as you got on my nerves. I want Soldier Boy to come back. They not even doing these dances no more. The kids don't even want to do do the wop and all, you know, the you know, the humpty. We had dances like that. If you went to go shake your ass, you was in trouble. We wouldn't even think of it. It wasn't even a thought in our mind. Yeah, we grind slow dance, you know, we grind doing slow dancing. But to actually a song come on and that's the first thing you do. That's the only thing you know how to do. Because it ain't no real dances out here. We had so many dances. So many dances. Now it's just like, shake your ass, put on a bathing suit, you go on TikTok. These kids got on hardly anything. They feel like they have to wear nothing to do a TikTok video. Let me go find the tightest, most skimpiest, most nastiest outfit in my closet, these children, to do a TikTok video. They they got our kids under a spell, man, and we're going to have to break it. Is We're going to have to break it. We have to break it. It's, it's, it's sad. It's scary. But I just couldn't go another day. It's been on my heart to make this video. I probably should have wrote down a few of my points because um, I feel like I'm not hitting all the points that I wanted to hit. But I definitely know. I'm glad I hit the point of me knowing that these are spells that they're casting. All of the TikTok videos and you feel like you got to do that. You, do, you think of the dance when you hear the song. That's a spell. That's a spell. The devil is busy. And the devil is on TikTok. The devil is on the radio. The devil is in our mind, in our houses. And we got to cleanse them out. We got to clean it. We got to cleanse it. We got to stop it somehow. Uh, I thank y'all for listening to my rant. Um, I hope I'm not the only one who feel this way. I don't know who would look at Cardi B and Sukiyana and think that's talent. The things that that Sukiyana girl is doing is disgusting. It's disgusting. I get what I get and I got what I got and I ain't never have to do what she doing to get it. Never. That is so degrading. And when they introduced us to her, they, they want to put, I would have kept my kids a secret. You put your kids on TV, now we know what they look like and now they could be teased in school because of the foolishness you out here doing because you ain't got no respect for yourself. You ain't got no respect for yourself. And you got a daughter. So what you think your daughter going to do? You their first role model. You're their first role model. Children do what they see their mother do. Bella take a baby doll and she put it up to her breast. She breastfeed the baby doll. It's sad and it's scary. And we have to stop it. We have to stop it. Turn the station. Turn the station is all I got to say. But thank you for listening to my rant. I wish you all love, peace, and prosperity.